Hey and welcome back to another episode of the Fogo Life. Today I will show you how to sear an amazing tri-tip steak. If you're not from Santa Maria, California, you may have never heard about tri-tip. What is this tri-tip steak? Well, basically, a tri-tip steak is a very tender piece of meat that's cut from the bottom sirloin of the steer. It looks a little bit like a brisket flat, but it's nothing like it. It's probably a lot more like a tenderloin in terms of um, like flavor, fat content, and tenderness. The Santa Maria style of cooking tri-tip is hot and fast, but I'm going to cook this tri-tip today low and slow and then sear it over high heat for the perfect medium rare finish. Super juicy and tender. Tri-tip is a little bit hard to find, um, especially if you're not in California. I got mine from grandwesternsteaks.com. Um, I'm putting the link down below. Go check them out. Really good company. But okay, enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. Season your tri-tip with your favorite beef rub. I chose salt and pepper. I love to keep it simple and let the beef flavor come through. Set your grill for indirect cooking at 225 to 250 degrees. And place your tri-tip and any vegetables you want to cook on your grill. Today I'm adding some peppers and grilled corn. It's time to remove the tri-tip once it reaches an internal temperature of 115 to 120 degrees. Take it off and let the grill temperature rise so we can sear. While the grill gets searing hot, I like to get my vegetables seared, it's just the perfect time for that. Sear the tri-tip steak for a total of 2 minutes on each side for that really nice crust. And don't forget to let it rest for a few minutes before cutting it. Cut the tri-tip into half and then cut it against the grain in very thin slices. This way they come out super juicy and super tender. Alright guys, our tri-tip steak is done and it looks absolutely amazing. Did you see that, the, the juiciness? Look at all that juice. Perfect, medium rare finish. Absolutely amazing. Look, the juices are still flowing. Let's have a bite. Mm. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. Super juicy, super tender. And we went very simple with salt and pepper and it came out absolutely spectacular. Let me tell you a little bit about, um, you know, little, little tips with cutting this, um, this tri-tip. Yeah, have a look at the steak. You see how the steak, the fibers of the muscle are sort of um, going this way right now. So you want to make sure that you're cutting against the fiber. Yeah, let me show you that. See, so you're cutting against the fiber and cut the steak in very thin pieces. That makes it a lot easier to eat. It makes it a lot more tender 
to have the meat like this, cut like this, instead of cutting it like this. This would be the wrong way to cut it. Yeah. Just so you can look. Now you have the fiber this way, the muscle fibers, and it'll be a lot more chewier to eat it like this. It's much simpler to cut it against the fiber, like this, and nice and thin. You have a great piece. Mm, really good. Well guys, I hope you learned something in this episode and you saw how amazing tri-tip is. Extremely juicy, very tender. There's a little, um, you need to watch out the way you, cook, uh, the way you cut it. But otherwise, give it a go. And I hope I see you again next week. Thank you so much for watching.